Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the DC Multiverse Damian Wayne figure. You guys probably know by now I'm not collecting this Multiverse line other than cherry picking a few of the comic characters here and there to go with my DCUC collection. It's very difficult for me because I completed the DC DCUC line completely, like 100%, and now we have this Multiverse line, which is mostly just a bunch of garbage. And they keep mixing in these DCUC style figures and I kind of have to get them, but then I really don't want to. And this is one of the ones I had to get it because it's a Bat Family character. And it's kind of an improvement over the last Damian Wayne. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about five and three quarter inches tall, which makes him just about 14 and a half centimeters. And the reason I say he's kind of an improvement is that we do have a unique cape and hood on this guy. We have some decent paintwork going on. We have these yellow panels here and the R logo painted very nicely. The boots are painted well enough. It's got some knee pads this time, even though they're just separate removable pieces that don't really stay on very well. It's not an, an entirely terrible figure. I think this might be a new piece. I'm not sure if the original DCUC release had this belt area, but it looks okay. The paintwork is very gloppy and chunky looking, but it's okay. The paintwork on the cape is also not great. It's hard to paint yellow. They should, they should have probably molded it in yellow and painted the black, even though it's a lot of paint. It would have looked nicer. Uh, but, you know, it, it's not absolutely terrible, and probably the best thing about it is this owl accessory. The, the face mask here that hides his potato face. It's just an absolutely terrible head sculpt. It's awful. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure this is meant to go on him, but it does have the face cut out on there and it fits, so I'm guessing it does, and I'm thankful because this face is awful. The paintwork is acceptable, but the head sculpt itself is just nowhere close to anatomically correct. It looks like someone punched him in the face from the back, like inside of his face, punched it forward. It's just so bad. It's gross, disgusting, bad sculpt. Whoever did that, stop it. Don't do that. As far as articulation goes, the head can pretty much just rotate, and it kind of fights you, but it will rotate a little bit. Up and down, not at all. The cape kind of prevents the shoulders from doing too much, but you can get them out to the side. You can rotate them up, you know, about horizontally, so that's okay. You have your bicep swivel. It's a standard DCUC figure, single-jointed elbow. You have your wrist swivel, and then your gripping hands for either side, even though he only has the one katana. Speaking of which, the katana's okay. It's got like a black sparkly blade, or like gunmetal, I guess, with a black handle. It's all right. It's not bad. For the torso, we can lean him back pretty far. There's no sculpt work underneath. Very, very lazy. And then it goes forward just a little bit. This is a soft piece, so it won't impede the hips entirely, but just about 90% imp impediment, impedation, impedation. That's not a word at all. Uh, whatever, you guys get the idea. They go out to the side a little bit, not quite 45, and then of course you saw they don't go very far forward or back, so not great. You do have your thigh swivel, and while you're doing all of that, you'll notice that these guys pop off way too easily, but they are at least included, which help. For the knee joint, let's zoom out a little bit. For the knee joint, it gives you about 90 degrees, a little bit better, so that is okay. And then we have an ankle hinge, so the foot goes a little bit forward and a little bit back. Nice sculpt work for the boots, but no ankle rocker. And he does have exceedingly big arms compared to the rest of his body. Especially since he's supposed to be a kid. He's got like gorilla muscles on his arms. And the rest of his body is fairly reasonably sized, I guess. I don't know. The DCUC younger characters like this guy, they've never really been well done. But, uh, you know, it's okay. It's not, it's not the worst figure in the world. It'll be... No! No, hide that face. Hide that face. We don't, we don't want to see that. So yeah, it's it's okay. If you collect the DCUC figures, you probably want to grab a Damian Wayne that has the cool cape on there. And the other one had the, the potato face anyway, so you might as well get this one. And I think that one was like a subscription exclusive, wasn't it? Or a con exclusive? It had some kind of exclusivity. And this one is not exclusive. So And it has the cape. So, you know, it's okay. It's not good. It's not terrible. It's pretty much what you should expect. And it does come with this King Shark head, which... I'm never going to use, unfortunately, because I'm not going to buy the rest of the turdy figures that are in this line. But King Shark looks like he might be the best DCUC Baff ever. I mean, he's got this giant head, and it's really well painted, and it has the hinge and the jaw, and it's very cool. But uh, otherwise, I can't bring myself to buy, especially the TV show figures that aren't even great shows, and then the figures are even worse. So, I don't know. But uh, you do get a giant Baff part, so that's a bonus. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.